In this video, I'm going to show you how to use AWS API Gateway in order to proxy an existing API. So let's imagine that existing API doesn't have support for cores, which is a cross-origin resource sharing. Um, we can actually achieve that if we don't, let's say, for example, have the source code, uh, we can actually achieve that by actually putting the API gateway in the middle. So let's do that really quickly. We're going to create an API, we're going to build an API, it's a HTTP API, we're going to give it a name and call it to do, to do API perhaps. Click next, next, we're going to automatically deploy this to that stage. So this is like staging slots on Azure, and we will click create. Okay, so that's now created. Uh, I'm going to go down to routes. I'm going to create a new route. I'm going to use a, a well-known um, greedy route called proxy star. If I can type properly, proxy, sorry, proxy plus. And I am going to create that. Now that I have it, I'm using any verb, so that's any HTTP verb, get, post, put, delete, etc. I'm going to attach an integration. I'm going to use a HTTP URI and I'm going to use this existing public JSON placeholder website or API. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. I'm going to place it in here. Now, this existing website is a REST API, so you can do the typical thing. You can look, go for a particular resource. So you can say, look, I want to see just a second resource, or just see all the resources. So in order for the, the greedy route here to be passed down, we need to pass down proxy, but this time without the plus. And that will take uh, whatever comes after or at the end of the URI in our API URL, which I'll show you in a moment, and it'll pass it down to this API here, but pass on the proxy. So let's do that really quickly. It automatically deploys, because if you remember when I created this application, I set it to auto deployer, it was the default approach. So we can actually just come up here on this API, we can click it, and now we should get the list of records or entities that we do have in the JSON placeholder API. We can also, as I said, because it's a greedy route, we can actually say, oh, show me the first, or show me the record with, a, with the ID of one, resource ID one. So that's kind of it. I did mention cores, so just without setting it up, briefly touching it, this is where you can actually now configure cores for that API. So you can say what origins you want to actually support. So who can call me um, here? That's it. Hope it's helpful.